You know, I'm such a, oh my God, dork. Okay, but I'll be looking for your comments if you have any, okay? So I can see your comments. And that's the only thing that I don't like about this process is that I can't hear you talking to me. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just, you know, that's just where you are. Okay, so I have my stuff over to the side. And the colors that I'm going to lay out, which I guess I could, maybe I can show you. I don't know if you can see. This is my palette right here. So um, I don't know how well you can see that, but I'm going to lay out the colors that I would lay out to do this painting, okay? Um, with the colors that I have with me, but so I'd lay out a little bit of, of white. I know that's so far away, but I don't want to move it right now. A little bit of white. This is titanium white. Um, I could not find my yellow ochre for the life of me, so I'm going to lay out a little Hansa yellow. Just a tiny bit because I don't know how long we're going to paint today. Oh, I have some Naples yellow and I have some cadmium lemon. I'll lay out a little Naples. That's a mixture, I think. With some white in it so it's duller. And I also have a um, cadmium orange. Okay. And I have a cadmium red light, which looks a lot like cadmium orange, but it is not cadmium orange. It is cadmium red light. And my paint is stuck in here because it's been too long since I've painted. It's got a skin on it, erg. And I need, I have a paint squeezer that I use sometimes, but I'm gonna use a stick now. All right. And then, so for the cooler reds, I have this beautiful, um, let's see, I have cadmium red medium, which is a little bit darker, which is my usual go-to. But cadmium red light is really good for cheeks, actually. And um, and I have a quinacridone magenta. I thought I had an, oh, I do have an alizarin crimson. So see, this is a lot of colors. You don't need this many. If you lay out red, yellow, blue, you're gonna be fine. This is alizarin crimson, and it's the permanent version. So you try to find the one that says permanent. So see, I've got those laid out so far. And then on the side of the darker colors, you know, I'm gonna have burnt umber, which I'm gonna, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna put it over here. And I'm gonna have, um, oh, that's a lizard. And I'm gonna have transparent red earth, which is a lot like burnt sienna, and I'm out of burnt sienna right now. So I'm going to use transparent red earth. Okay, and then I'm going to put down sap green. I'm putting down more paint than I should be, but whatever. Maybe we'll paint. Oops. I've never painted inside the house before with oil paints ever. This is like a new a new thing for me. Oh, here's some viridian. So sap green and viridian are very different from each other. Viridian's a lot colder. Sap green looks darker, but it is not. It is transparent. So, and then I've got um, my uh, dioxazine purple, which I love mixing with yellow. And the um, ultra blue, and I usually have phthalo blue, but I cannot, couldn't find it out there, so I'm just gonna stick with these. And so this is like a lot of colors and maybe you won't use this many, but that's what I got. So Shanna, Shara is saying, um, can you email or post this picture somewhere else so I can print it? Oh, sure. I have trouble positioning my laptop. Oh, sure. I can, I can, I can send it to you. Um, I'll send it to the canvas. Okay. Let's see. Do I have Canvas still open? Oh, I don't. I'll send it to Canvas right now. Hold on a second.
Okay. I am going to put it in modules on a page. And uh, let's see. It's called Image One. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay, that is posted. It's called Image One and it's posted on Canvas now, okay? You're welcome. Yeah, ask me any questions. I'm sorry, this is so this is so clunky. I appreciate you bearing with me. Okay, so there's my there's my palette. I know it might be a little bit out of focus. <clears throat> And I was thinking, I'll just, I'll just paint this on my lap. Ugh. But I need different glasses. Now I can see because it's far away. Okay, okay. So here is my thing, and let me make it a little less bright. Hold on a second. I find that it, when it's a little less bright, it's a little easier to see. Okay, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Now I'm not sure how well you can see. Um, not sure how well I can see. I can't see that well. Maybe I will turn on the light again. That was there before because I think once I start painting you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Is that No, that's worse, isn't it? Okay, well, we'll try it this way. Okay, so so to start, I've got my, my Gamsol, and uh, I usually keep a paper towel in hand. Um, that's, that's what What's-His-Name said to do, and I think it works really well, actually, to keep a paper towel. But when I'm looking at this image, you know, there's a lot of grass all around her, but um, I think what I'm going to do is start with her skin because that's what we were talking about so I'm gonna mix and I know you can't maybe if I put my palette up here you'll be able to see it better I might be able to fit these both on here Ooh, look at that look at that Let's see Let's see if that's if I can balance these on here that's kind of cool all right all right all right so okay I've never done this before I've never tried to paint in a demo okay so let's say I mix a little, a little white with a little yellow and just a little bit of cadmium red medium just to get it looking kind of pinky, which is how her skin looks to me, but it's also got a little dullness in it. And I think a little red earth, a little more white. So I'm not starting with the super brightest version of this color. I don't want it to be super bright. So I'm just going to start looking at where I see it being the the lightest and the brightest and that is that is a little dark for what I want so I'm gonna mix some white in it and pink so I will start with just like these thin thinned out washes in an area and I can even I could even just start with white pulling the Conti crayon into the areas does that make sense I could just pull in the Conti because really it's not about matching the color perfectly for me and now that's not how um, Daniel Keyes works he actually looks at each color and matches it perfectly, and I'm not that good. So I tend to start with um, 
kind of a middle a middle tone and then even in the areas where it's lighter where she's getting a little bit of light I can wipe it out and to me that's a little bit more effective I'm not sure if you can even even begin to see this yet hope it's kind of reflecting so anyway we'll keep it here and we'll keep going and see what we get um, and then her face like there's a lot of this kind of more dull cooler version of her of her um, skin and so I'm gonna mix a little bit of a shadow area now again I'm not glazing I'm doing more like a la prima painting right now not to be confusing um, yikes too much so see it's like I'll mix these little colors and then I'll realize nope I've gone too far and so then I'll just pull off a corner of it and try to make a modified version okay and so I'm thinking of these cool but lighter shadow areas behind her arm her arm is almost in shadow so it's almost like a god her neck is almost like a, a gray and her back almost has like another bit of shadowy gray back here where it turns under It's really amazing how much of the Conti you can pull. Um, so that if you just work that as your underpainting, sometimes that's all you need is just to pull some Conti with your turpentine or It's like her head is turned under and her mouth is really is really tipped and her eye is more tipped than I've got it. So I'm getting like just a washy skin, okay, that is light. It's more about value than it is about color for me right now. Um, but that will change. Her ears are going to, and her cheeks are going to have a lot, quite a lot of red in them. But you see how bright the red is if I just use the red? It's super duper bright, so it's got to be modified a little bit. And her nose is so red. But the underside of her chin is so kind of gray and her hair so I've got that arm and that arm kind of there's more light here on this part of her shoulder and then her hands are getting some light I don't know if you can hear this, but the automatic vacuum cleaner is like really vacuuming this room very thoroughly. <laughs> it's crazy.
I need a smaller brush because this is so freaking tiny. I can barely even, I can barely even like put down marks. It's crazy. I think her arm maybe extends out a little bit further. And her head, her forehead actually does too. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I've got a little bit of the figurative elements going on up here. Now I'm going to start to mix um, that pink that I see in her dress and it's, it looks like it's cadmium, but it's got some yellow in it. It's almost like a orangey kind of, kind of color, I think. And so like half of this dress has this like pinkish aspect of her back and then half of it has this this white but it's like a blue it's like a it's not white I gotta get this I need a different brush it's not pink, it's like a cold, dull blue, gray. So I'm using white and um, this ultramarine blue for this kind of under, under coating, under portion of the shadow area. And then I would use white to kind of Turn it a little bit. Shoot, I mix it in too much. It's like when you're working wet on wet, you have to be really careful. So I don't even know how well you guys can see this. Can you even see this? I mean, I guess it, it's starting to show up a little bit, but. I like this brush better than this brush. So, and in the, um, and in the dress, so in the areas that I want to dull a little bit, but that I still want to be reddish, I just add a little bit of green and that makes a kind of nice dull color.
elbows are kind of kind of reddish. going a little bit dark on that turnaround area. Oops. Now this far arm is kind of light, but kind of dull. So I'm trying to mix kind of dull color in there. But I still need, I'm still gonna have to work quite a lot to get some contrast in these areas. Carolyn, it's really too small for me to see the color. I need a much larger screen. I, I know. I wish. See, the thing is, I'll have to, um, what I'll have to do is just um, post. I'll post it um, on online, okay? So if you can see the colors that I'm using, I don't know. I mean, maybe what I should do is maybe I can focus in or something. Um I don't know. But what I'll do is I'll post I'll post pictures maybe along the way. So maybe what we can do oh man, I don't, I don't even know how to solve this because you're right. I I think it's it's so small. I mean, I could also paint bigger um which might help, but um it is it's difficult. It's it's difficult. I agree. So I'm looking at her stockings now. And you see this kind of, you can you see the colors that I'm mixing? on my television screen. Ooh, try it.
Gosh, her nose, her knees are so rosy. So what I'll do, you guys, is, um, you know, maybe what would really help is, is having me put down some of these. Um, oops, I'm not tipping her head enough in perspective. Is to, uh, I can also post this as it's developing. figure it out. I'm not worried about it. You can't view, um, Carolyn says that she might be able to view this on her television screen on YouTube. Can you do that? You sh if you've got Apple TV, you should be able to do that. Now this is where the um, transparency of her, um, the veil part of her dress crosses over her leg. So I'm, I'm trying to capture a little bit of transparency there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me get my foot up higher. No, I think that's worse. Is that worse? I gotta say, I do love painting, and I miss it, and I do appreciate you guys uh, convincing me to start painting again. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh. I think the vacuum cleaner just finished its cleaning. nice for us. Oh, Carolyn says that uh, um, it's nice for you guys to paint too. I hope so. Painting, you know, I don't have to talk the whole time. I, I always, you know, convince myself that I have to like be talking the whole time. But I, if you find it annoying, please let me know and I'll stop it. <laughs> so, um, okay, so I've kind of got her, her colors laid out. I am going to start working on her hair and I see in her hair like a lot of yellow but it's dull so it's going to have its complement in it which is purple and it might even have some um, brown or green in it like a green look umber would be good because it's a greeny brown but there's this like dull 
a dull version of her hair in here. It's going over her eyes and I, I'm not sure that I can handle that right now, but and then it's being lit from back over there, right? Mm, my neck is killing me. And then there's a lot of hair under here which can help to define her face. Dark, dark here. I'm making it longer than it is <laughs> because I think that's kind of nice. But her hair is pretty dull, so I'm not going to do this like bright yellow, crazy, you know. I'm using the Hansa mostly, but I'm dulling it because even in the highlights, it's pretty dull. kind of want to make her dress a little bit shape of it a little a little more in a little darker and that there's like a bow at her waist which I left out initially so maybe I'll just do this with cadmium right now just to set it But it is a lot lighter. Hmm. But I do think that it's in more. And I do think that her face needs a little bit more. Okay, so something else I want to point out is that um, trying to be neat because I'm inside. Ah, is that the grass is showing through that like veil of her dress? So I'm gonna put down. Well, I'm gonna do her shoes first, and then I'm gonna start putting down the grass because I'm gonna be doing that veily part over over the top of it, and I kind of want a wash of grass underneath. Um, so. And I also think I can use that to create some better edges on the back of her body because she's getting a little lumpy back there on the back of her body. But first I'm gonna do her shoes, which are gonna be my black. So remember how I said I often make a clothing black or whatever, so shoes to me are black. And so it's a mixture of more blue than brown, but it's ultramarine blue and brown. And then when I do the highlights on the shoes, you know, I'm just gonna drag some, uh, white in it while it's still wet and mix it not pure white I'll do a mixture and 
then there's that tan little under part of the shoe too. See, I'm just mixing it while it's in the wet paint, which can be a lot easier. I can always go back and touch it up later. But there's also that tan part of the shoe that I want to make sure that I get. So you see that and her stockings they are like look at that they're like purple blue like very very bright but then you can see the pinkiness of her leg Sorry, my cat laid on my computer. <laughs> Aaron says, from Aaron's text, there's like all these symbols and lots of them. And then Aaron says, sorry that the cat laid on top of her computer. Sorry. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so cute. Cats love laying on computers, don't they? Isn't that just like an amazing thing about cats? My dogs don't do that, I must admit. And I kind of miss that but they do get in my way and <laughs> insist on being the center of attention in all kinds of other ways, plenty of other ways. What I love down here is this crazy, I love her feet and the stockings. and the crazy way her foot turns over in the picture. Now, um, I gotta paint the bottoms of her shoes, which are like a tan, so I'm gonna use the same kind of color, but a little bit more yellow that I used for her hair. Actually, I should do it up here, shouldn't I? I need a stronger yellow to push, to push the purple back, but it can also maybe have a little bit of brown in it. So the heel of her little shoe, and then I can see a little bit of the, it's a little lighter, a little bit more brown, come on, a little red earth, I wish I had my sienna, my burnt sienna, that stuff is a little bit more yellow. I can add a little bit more Hansa. Oops, I'm gonna do it over here. A little bit more white. My white got totally beat up. Oh, come on. Good enough. Ah, and I'm gonna do the bottom of that other shoe and the bottom part is much more of a dark brown as it goes away from her. And then it gets lighter as it comes towards her. Now 
but it's got this edge. I need more white. Okay, made her shoes very big and a little too pointy, but now I need some more white. So I've got her little leg turned over. I think her knee needs to come out a little bit further. So I'm going to extend this knee. But I like how her legs are coming along. little bit better okay so let's uh let's see so now I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna think about um, the ground plane and again this I want a transparent kind of color and the foreground God, it's really interesting the foreground is a lot of cold and warm areas so I'm going to start near her and I'm going to dull my green with a little brown. Sap green and viridian and burnt and burnt uh, whoops burnt umber. Now, you know, I can lay it in pattern, but the negative space is just as important as the positive shapes. So what I tend to do is I try to uh, think of the composition always, it's just critical, critical. And this is a dull green. It's mixed with some uh, burnt umber, and some transparent red earth. But this is where I can start to get some really popping edges, right? So you can really start to see the difference now in the in the spaces. And I, I just think that it's boring <laughs> to just fill in, you know? So sometimes when I'm 
laying out a wash, I try to uh, think about it and maybe even, you know, you can use your, you don't have to use a paintbrush for everything. Right. So again, sap green, red earth, and viridian together in the darkest, dullest areas. But I'm not laying it on too thick. And I like to lay it down and then rub it off. Move this over a little bit. I do like the contrast between the green and her body. Her little knees. But if I just made this faux pattern, you know, whatever, all over the place, that would be pretty darn boring in terms of composition. So I'm not gonna do that. But I do want to, I don't wanna over mix my color, but I kinda wanna make sure that I'm differentiating between the ground and the uh, figure. So see how much of a difference that makes? Isn't that crazy? I bet you can see it a lot better now. So anyway, so this this you know green area, um, I'm gonna make it. I'm thinking of making it um, have light in it and more brightness at the top, um, just because that's where that little sliver of light is. because I don't want to just fill it in because that's, it's really boring. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that's kind of boring. Now I'm also seeing green through here, through her dress. So I may just hit upon those spots just so I don't forget.
because this is where that veily part of the dress just does sitting not on the it's sitting on the over the grass and it's translucent or transparent so I'm gonna have to go over these with the white but um you know this way I can kind of keep track and that gives it a transparency look just you know just even just looking at it so and then her hair is gonna run this way and her elbow is up here her hand is kind of turned inward so I never want to make the grass or the space look untreated. I, I really, that bugs me in a drawing or a painting, um, if the rest of the space doesn't look as, doesn't have to be as developed, but you know, I mean, maybe what I can do is dry brush out some grass or some areas where it's actually looks like it's kind of bare before it dries. just lots of different ways to scrape out or rub out. Okay. Now, oops, up at the top, the grass and my turpentine's getting a little dirty. Turpentine, I mean Gamsol. But uh, that looks like a very yellow green and white kind of lawn color because the sun is hitting it in a sliver up here. So it's like I'm gonna have that sliver come right up near her head. Maybe I'll have it angled down a little bit. If I can make it match up with the light on her dress, that'd be great, and maybe the light on her hair, but it's like I feel like that lightness, ah, it's like, you know, that dappled sunlight. There's a lot of yellow in it. And then there's this like really kind of dull, patchy, earthy color down here. And around here, but it's dull. How are you guys doing? I should have you post, I'm going to have you guys post your drawings in a chat or in a discussion, okay, on our, on Canvas, because I want to see how far you guys got today, because I'm going, it's four o'clock, we've been on for two hours, oops,
grass is so short far away, but it's also probably less contrasty. So, but I don't want to use the same color, but I do want to cut off the back of her back because she's too wide. And I can always modify the So now I just end up getting into kind of the lovely abstract like treatment of the ground plane. And just keep in mind that if you want something to go back into space, you know, um, diagonals go back into space. Does that make sense? So if you're doing a landscape, you kind of need a series of a relationship of diagonals. Ah. So I want to know how you guys are doing. Somebody tell me how you're doing in the chat. Are you doing terribly? Did you have to leave? <laughs> What's going on? Are you rusty? I didn't paint along, Carolyn. I didn't have a drawing. Oh, next time we prepared. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Carolyn, are you able to uh, gain anything from watching? And I gotta make it so that you guys can watch each other. I don't know if you can see it, but I think it's coming along. This is, I painted this particular, oh my God, this daughter image, you know, like actually more than once. That's me. It is you. There's my daughter. But, um, but it's really, it's really fun, I must say. Um, and I'm used to it, but you know, this one still has a long way to go, obviously. Um, and so like in her dress, I think I need some, some more development of the actual dress part. And that part is kind of this orangey with cadmium and white and yellow. It's like a salmon-y, very bright. just dulled out my beautiful color that I mixed by putting it in the wrong spot. Okay. So the brightest part of her dress is this actually a lot lighter than that so I'm, not, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the valleys for right now there is quite a lot of like pink and green in this in this painting for sure
So now I'm getting into the problems of wet on wet, where I want to I want to change the color. And I'm finding it a little difficult because I dragged a different color in there that I didn't want. Okay, is that so horrible? But this is where you really start dealing with the difference between um, actual bright colors and dark colors. And where you kind of have to make your eyes go out of focus, because I, th I think that the brightest area is like right in here. Those are the brightest, but they're also the lightest. And then everything else is a version of that color that's a little duller. So if I want to dull it, I'm going to use a little viridian to dull it because it's cooler. And I really would rather have a more purpley combination in there. And she's laying in the grass, so there's so much viridian all around her anyway. But do you see how this just makes it a darker version and a duller version of that color? That's what I mean by just nudging. lighter version of this color that's still dull, lighter to do this. This is so fun, you guys. I'm, I don't even know if you're still here, but 
Um, but I'm I'm having a blast. Um, this is great. I need some more yellow, and I need to I need to really wrap it up because I've got I've got all this other stuff that I have to do. But this is so much more fun. I kind of want to sit here and just paint for hours, and I might. But I also I just I have so much stuff to do. But this is great oil painting. Oil painting inside. I've never done that before, man. Never. I have a feeling if I if I start I'm gonna be making a huge mess. I wanna work in some some lighter, warmer spots in the grass. And now I'm starting to get really thick because I wanna finish. <laughs> so and th that doesn't mean that I have to fill in every spot or whatever, but um you know, it's got to look like you intend all of your all of your marks. And if you do, and you leave places opened, you know, that's, it ends up feeling intentional. It's like, and that's all you, that's all I ever want is to, is to have it look intentional. I screwed up her arm. Whoops. We're here. Thank you. Be fun to yeah. So um yeah, we should do plain air. We should totally do that. I'm for it. Um, if you guys want to, and then we could mask, and just go out. This is where I start feeling like I can be really loose. as I'm using up my paint. Okay. So anyway, I'll take a picture of this, guys, and I'm probably, so Carolyn's saying we should paint outside. I, I know I just said that, but um, I think that would be a great thing to do um, in the spring. And um, I hope that you guys post this. I'll put a place in the independent study to post so that we can share with each other um, what we've made. And I kind of like my little painting. I think it's kind of, it needs a little bit more like zing because it's not that um, finished seeming, but, um, but I like it. It's really interesting. I kind of feel like I want to add flowers to it or something. Um, and I want to add some detail in the girl, definitely. So I'm going to keep doing that. Um, and I think that I'm going to turn off streaming, though. I posted my call. Oh, yes. Um, Carolyn, I, Carolyn is uh, posting a call for, for um, is it artwork? I will, I will share it. Um, she wants participation in a project that she's working on, so I'm going to post it on Canvas for you guys. Thank you, Carolyn. I, I was trying to, I hadn't answered you on that yet because I was wondering, um, I wanted to make a few calls and find out some issues, but I, I wasn't able to reach anybody. But we can still do this um, in an informal way and um, I will post that. And um, Carolyn's asking for participation in a project that she's working on. So if you just read through it, you can make up your mind whether you feel like that's a good um, fit for you to participate in and you want, if you want to. Um, and I'll make that available to you guys, okay? I need to make her knee a little bit bigger. Knee a little bit bigger and a little bit, a little bit more orangey, but also a little lighter. I 
a little more opaque. I love it where her this veil goes over these areas and even goes over her shoes. to redo the soles of her shoes because they're not well done. This is so fun. I've never painted inside before. Oh, Shara's saying, I love how magical your painting is looking. Thank you. I do too. I'm really getting into this. This is really, really... This is so fun. I haven't done this in, I'm not kidding, I have not done oil painting since the class that I took. So, so there. So thank you for, for that. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm hoping that I can pull it off because it's so tiny, you know. It's like I want to, I had this idea that I wanted to make a series of these like really tiny, tiny little um, intimate paintings. And maybe this one will be the first of that series. but it's got a little, little further ways to go. So, but I do think I am going to, um, I'll take a picture of it as it is now, and I'm gonna work on it a little bit more, and then I'm gonna take a picture of it when I finish for the day, okay? And then, but I am gonna end the stream. So, um, if there's anything that uh, anybody wants to add, um, you should do it now, <laughs> because I'm gonna, Oh, the vacuum cleaner got stuck. Cause I'm going to uh, I'm going to shut down the uh, the stream in a minute. So please, uh, I'll paint for a minute and then I'll shut it down in a minute. Let me know because I'm I want to know. You can also add it to email, but I do want us to share these on the uh, discussion. Got her little tiny hand. Oops. It's so amazing once you start pushing around the wet paint and you realize, you know, you've really got to kind of just jam it in there and hope for the best. Oh no, I think it's hard. Oops. Because everything you put down is going to mix with everything that's underneath it, right? Unless you can, you can do it so carefully that you don't upset the, uh, you know, what you put down previously. And that's, then you end up like, you know, icing a cake and it's, it's a little uh, harrowing, I guess, is a good way to describe it.
I want to start adding some more yellow tones to her her skin and other places and just mix it on the on the palette on the image. But it's so tiny I can barely do it. Okay, guys, I am going to um, I'm going to stop streaming. I'm going to take a picture of it and post it. Um, wait, now I feel like I have to change one more thing before I do that because it's driving me crazy. Nope, liked it better before. good enough for now okay um, I will see you guys next week hopefully um, but uh, you know keep uh, keep painting and working this is fun to do right all right I'm gonna take a picture of this I can't get up <laughs> I'm trying to be so careful not to mess up my area 